So good morning, everyone. I hope you are doing very well. My name is Roda Segedi, and I'm one of the new tutors. I will be with you for a couple of weeks. So here is my first tutorial with you, and I hope you're gonna enjoy it. As you know, uh, the challenge of the week is to basically to, uh, to identify AI generated content, uh, maybe for email or marketing content. And at the same time, we want to learn how to, to use AI to generate a content and sound like a, a human being. So, and as you can see, uh, yesterday we have the opportunity to to learn how to identify AI generated content, and and do and this one is for task one and task two, and as you know, uh, for the task three and four, uh, it is asked us to generate a content that sounds like a human. And to be able to do that, you're gonna do in this tutorial, learn how to do it. So for this tutorial, um, we will, it is uh, split in three parts. First of all, we'll learn uh, how to effectively create an email communication with an AI. And we do the same for creating a, a marketing content, and at the end, we will do some practices, okay? So without further ado, let us start with the first one, and creating effective email communication with the AI. So um, I may ask you, first of all, let, let, let me ask you, first of all, if somebody have already created an email, communication using AI. Is there anyone? Hello guys. Can you hear me? I'm not seeing my, my screen. Uh, Okay. We can hear you. We can hear you. Okay. Okay. Good. So, who who have already created email communication using AI? The person can raise his hand and say something. Uh, if anyone, I can continue. Okay. Oh. Uh, to create an email using AI, we need first of all to define the purpose of our email and our audience, because it is very crucial to know what we want to do and to whom we want to send what, what we want to send. So first of all, we need to define the clear objective and an audience, and after that, we need to analyze our audience. So, for instance, for maybe you want to send a welcome email to your customers, or you want to send an email where you want to promote a product, this should be your clear objective. And your customer here will be your audience. Now, it's up to you to know how, which kind of language, which kind of content you want to use toward that audience. And when you have done this, it is when you can choose your AI and put together your input, what, uh, what the content, the way the content should sound, the way what you want to put in the content, uh, the desired tone you want to, to address your email to your audience, you put all of them together and now create a prompt and that prompt you will inject that prompt to your generative AI. 
uh, you guys have already known what generative AI is and some examples. Some examples are ChatGPT, Gemini, and uh, Copilot, etc. So when you guys have generated uh, your draft, it's not over. No, it is now you need to review and personalize your drafts. So here you need to check your the accuracy of your content, the relevance, uh, the clarity, the grammar style, and personalize. Maybe you, your customer to whom you want to send this email call, callings, maybe you put via callings and uh, so on, okay? And when you have, have done this, it's not over. You need to, because the, the, the goal here is to make uh, the email sound like a human generated, not like an AI generated, even though we want to, gen we, we are generated with the AI, okay? So here you need to improve the readability and the engagement from for, for, format our emails in a short paragraph to make it easier to read, okay? And also make sure that we sign up the, the email and also use the type of word you, that, that, that are personal to us, okay? So these are the procedure to create an effective email communication using an AI. Is there any questions so far? Hello everyone, maybe sorry for uh, being late. Maybe can you get back to two or three slides back? Sorry. Which slide? I mean, just at the moment, I'm just joining this tutorial. Yes. So I couldn't get, I couldn't uh, catch the overall idea still, I'm, I'm in so far. So please, if you can, thank you. Okay, so basically this is the first slide, uh, let me say, because uh, this it is the outline, okay, as you can see, this is the first slide, basically. And then what we want to do here is to learn how to create an email communication using AI, okay? And uh, you, don't, you don't want just to create uh, an email communication using AI. We want to sound like a human. You see? So to be able to do that, there are some steps to follow. And the first step is to define the purpose and the audience. And after defining a clear objective and analyzing your, your audience, you need to put everything together to create your prompt. And after creating your prompt, you, use, you select the type of generative AI that you prefer and you inject, you inject your prompt into that generative AI, and that one will create for you your draft, okay? And when your draft has been created, now you need to review and personalize your draft. You need to, this is where um, making sound like a human started, the real work started, and you need to pay attention to the accuracy, the clarity, if there are some, uh, some uh, grammar errors or if it is uh, the grammar is very perfect to be true you need to revise those things and personalize your email and also from format uh, in short paragraph and pay attention to the greeting and the signature so that's it okay is it clear for everyone Uh, okay, so let's continue with uh, some example. So for the first example, as you can see, the scenario is here. You work for a green earth landscaping, a company known for its sustainable and eco-friendly landscaping practices. You want to use LLMs to generate content trust for emails and marketing material. 
So here, we need to define the purpose and our audience. And as you can see here, welcome email to a new customer who has booked a landscape team consultation. So the customer is our audience and we want to welcome him. This is our purpose. So for the analysis of the audience, we want to thank the customer for choosing our company. We want to encourage them also for asking any question they may have before consultation. And when this has been done, we can generate, we can, no, we can create our prompt. This is an example of a prompt. And for this prompt, we will see if uh, we, we put together those information so far. On behalf of Green Earth Landscaping, write a welcome email to customer, to my customer name, Akiawa, who recently booked a landscaping consultation. Briefly, thank them for choosing Green Earth Landscaping and express your excitement about working with them. Briefly, highlight Green Earth Landscaping's commitment to sustainable practices and creating beautiful eco-friendly landscapes. Landscapes offered to answer any question for any question they may have before the consultation and provide content information for scheduling. Maintain a friendly and informative tool that reflects Green Earth Landscaping dedication to exceptional um, customer service. So as we, we see here, we try to put in all the steps that we have seen so far into our prompt before generating a draft. Even in the way uh, the sentiment tool also has been included. So this is the way you guys need to do for the task three where you, you were asked to create two emails using AI. And of course, after generating the prompt, we need to we, we need to create our draft and then review it. This we will see data in the hands-on practice parts. Okay. If there is a, a question, you can ask. If everything is uh, so far good, you also raise your thing or show some reaction. Okay. Here is another example. In this example, uh, we have defined the purpose and an audience. Inform a client about a new product and provide assistance to him. So we have an example of prompt. In the prompt, we have put a lot of things we didn't put in the slide. So we want to generate a follow up Sorry, email. Your, your screen is not moving. Please. Oh, now it's okay. Your st it's screen okay. was stuck. Ah, okay. Maybe ah, it's that's uh, why somebody is not saying. Okay, all right. Shall I go back or shall, shall I start again? No, for me it's okay. Like. Okay. Good. So. I was saying that for the second example, the purpose and the audience here is we want to inform a new client. So the client is our audience, okay? And we want to inform him through an email about a new product and we want to provide him assistance. So an example of the prompt that we suggest is this one. I want to generate a follow-up email to one of my clients named Bob Joe. The purpose of my emails is to inform him about our new AI product that he might be interested in and to provide any assistance needed. Our company is named AI for All 
we develop a new product, we develop AI products to help business. Bob has been our loyal customer for 10 years. We want to inform him about the new AI that generate uh, marketing content like a supplement. Okay. So this is the way uh, you guys you need to, to proceed on and succeed your tax three. Uh, as I said, we couldn't see those example uh, how uh, the, 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 the email we, we can generate through these prompts and uh, how we can review it. We're going to see that in the practice session. So let us go for the second part of this tutorial. Here we want to create a marketing content using AI and we want also to sound like a human at the end. For this, you're gonna follow also uh, the same process, the same process uh, we, have, we have followed for the first one. And the first step here is to set a clear objective. So you're gonna define our goals and our audience. So here, why defining our goals is to be aware about the brand awareness, the lead generation. And uh, when it is done, we need to gather information, the information that we want to be as to be as a con our content. Okay. So we compile the product details, the, the brand of the 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 product, the name of the product, sorry. Uh, which product it is, uh, the campaign goals, the customer testimonial. Maybe there are some customers that have already tested the product and they share their testimonial. So we need to gather those information. And when we have gathered those information, we need to choose the type of content we want to use. So maybe it is we want to to use a blog or social media post. The one that is uh, good for us, we choose it. And when all of those steps are clear defined, then we can now choose our AI and inject our prompt to that AI to generate a job for us. And of course, after this step, we need to review and personalize our draft. We need to, to be to be sure that uh, it aligns with the brand voice and the marketing objective. We need to refine the content to, re to resonate with the target audience, which include a clear call to action. Okay. And after that, we need to improve the reliability and the engagement. Use format for uh, we need to format uh, to format our our content and the bullet points if needed, and also use some images to improve the user experience. Okay, and after that also, I think we, we can make it sound like a, a human generated. So, we're gonna see an example quickly if there is no question. If there is a question, we can, uh, we can speak right away so that I can hear you. If not, I can continue. Okay, here, here. I think I think everything is okay. Everything is okay. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, now, according to the examples you have shown, um, the, the prompt that we can write, uh, I have seen that it may take time to write or to formulate those prompt. And uh, I'm wondering uh, what is the importance of uh, uh, writing the, this prompt according to uh, the length of it. Uh, it may, I think it may be better to write the whole email without prompting the AI. What is the importance of 
uh, using this prompt instead of writing the email uh, on our own. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do you mean do you do you, you want to write the email uh, by yourself? Is what you mean? Yes, I I think the 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 reason you or you want choose to write the the email using the AI tool uh, maybe is to save time, uh, but according to this prompt, the the length of this prompt, I see uh, the time it can take one to write this prompt, and the time of writing the email or. Uh, Will be the same, uh, which means I can prefer to write the email on myself instead of using AI tool. All right, yeah, uh, I respect your opinion. As you have said, if you you come across to the point that writing your own emails, uh, it have the same time as uh, writing your email using AI. Yeah, you can go with the. Uh, sorry, you can go with the writing your by yourself. Okay, but don't forget uh, the challenge. The challenge we have this week, because you are working based on the challenge we have this week. So you are so suppose that you are a senior manager in a company, in a big company, uh, of a marketing leading company. And open, you guys are using AI to generate content to advertise a product or uh, email people, okay? Because when you have a big audience, I don't think you, you're gonna do that uh, uh, one by one. No, you, you want to use AI, the, 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 the power of AI, you want to use that power to save time. And it turns out that uh, in your company, uh, you have noticed that the the AI content, the AI generated content, sound doesn't sound like a, a human generated, rather it sounds like an AI generated. And it is, a, it is when you guys decided to improve that, to address that problem, and that is why last uh, yesterday. We show you how to identify AI generated. And at the same time, when you identify AI generated, you need to know how to, to address that one. You address you address uh you address, you address the point. Hello? Rudolf, like maybe Ad Sanami has a question, like he raised her his hand. Oh okay. Uh, I can't see by the way uh, because my um, yeah, who has raised his hand? Yes, good morning. Uh, yeah, good morning. Yeah, thank you for the presentation. I I just want to make a, I want to ask some questions. I just okay. When we're talking about the uh, how to make a the AI uh, letter or um, mail, email and uh, adverts, you said we should make it as human as possible. I want to ask, how can we make it human? And uh, also we talk about the tone, the tonation of the email. How can we make the tonation to sound like a uh, woman? And uh, how can we make the email to look human and uh, as as possible uh, that is you just because mean, i know i sorry i know the reason for uh, uh, ai emails and this and that is that when we have a bulk of load to do and uh, uh, being uh, having a bulk of uh, uh, email to write out daily definitely ai will be a very good uh, options and a very good uh, it will be to our advantage to explore that that too in writing email to several customers, several uh, recipients want to send email to, but just to make it as if it does not look like a, a an artificial uh, generated uh, 
email just to look as if it's coming from the from the woman. So that's what I just wanted to bust through that very well. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Adesanya. Um, uh, if I understand what you have said, is it is it a question or is it just a? Uh, is a mean, question. Is a question. Okay, it's a question. Okay. So first yes. of all, do you mean Kriman or woman? I want to be clear about this. Human, human, not not woman, human, H U M A N. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, good. Yeah. 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 So I, I think yesterday you have attended the class of uh, how to uh, identify AI generated, yes. right? Yes. Exactly. Yes. I attended the and class you can see that, yes. uh -huh, Exactly. And you can you can notice that there are some type of indicator that shows us that uh, yeah what the content we have if, if it is email if it is a marketing a content this one is from it come from ai okay now we want to address that one as much as possible so that it, it can it, it, uh, it can sound like a, a human being okay and to be able to do that this is where you come, we, we have a procedure, okay? You need to define the purpose. You need to make sure that your email generated do, uh, does not lack authenticity. And also, it doesn't lack also personalization. So while you write in your email, it's up to you now to describe what you want the way you want to sound for instance one in one of my example let me show you in one of the example here uh, um, see for instance here we we said okay uh, bob has been our loyal customer for 10 years we want to inform him about the new AI that can the marketing content like a human. Okay. For this prompt, for instance, this sent this sentence I have I have read is showing that we we trying to personalize the email for Bob, not for every customer, so that Bob can uh, the AI can know that this one is a is a particular customer. He will he, he, uh, the AI will generate the email according to that customer. Even if above we written his name and we put together information that is related to the paper for the email, the audience, which is Bob, and also the company at the end. And if there is something that's lacking, it is where we need to review the email after generated the prompt i don't know if now it is clear for you is it clear for you yes yes i can i'm following thank you okay okay good is there anyone has a question If not, we can continue and show me some reactions so that we can continue. Okay, all right. Um, maybe, I don't know if I am correct. Uh, maybe the question might be similar with uh, uh, Adisanami or someone, or Eric, he already asked the, the similar question like, uh, for example, we are uh, going to, you know, write the email for our customers, for example. But yeah. in another way, in another way, we are supposed to, uh, you know, write a prompt for the AI to to generate AI generated email so that we can send for our customers. But instead of still instead of uh, you know uh, using the AI, why not we directly write the emails for our uh, customers? Is what is the the main objective? of write i mean writing the prompt and 
getting the, the the email from the AI and then we are refining it and after that we are supposed to send for the uh, receiver so uh, still I'm um, you know getting somehow confusing on these issues because you know uh, the main objective is just writing the email for the customer so why we are going to do with AI okay good uh as i was saying earlier you know you you are not forced to use ai no but in the case you want to use ai make sure that your ai sound like a human this is what we're trying to address here i don't know if it is clear because you know there are some circumstances where you will realize that uh, you need to use ai to save time so in those circumstances, you, you need to teach you how you can generate, you can use AI to generate your content. And at the same time, you need to sound like a, as if it is you who is writing the email, not it doesn't come from AI. This is the point. Is that clear, Thierry? Yeah, okay, no, good. Really, no, no. Okay, Shidrak. You have raised your hand, so okay. I'm to, yeah. So I actually wanted to clarify the last person that asked question. He was what he was asking: what is the essence of using AI since we can do it by ourselves? So I wanted to re react to that because Carol has actually told. Because what if in a case that maybe you have a let me say two to three pages of email that you want to write. Of which in the process of writing it you may have a lot of grammatical errors and it will take you time i think one of the things that ai will do for you to help you to reduce grammatical errors if you want to debug the email it will be very easy for you to debug it and it will save you time something that you have take up to 30 minutes or five uh, up to one hour you can use up to five minutes and do it with no error but trying it to do it with, by yourself maybe you are not even having enough time to do it uh, so maybe the company is already on your neck to make sure you deliver the email within some time frame. So it will, it will be very easy for you to do it with AI, with less error and all that. So that's what I wanted to say. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Shadrach, for your input. It's very helpful. I think TLF has now a more understanding the reason why you, you want to use AI and how the, how you need to use it and sound like a, a human because you don't want to sound like an AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You can continue. Thank you. Okay, good. So uh, I think we we were on the. Sorry, uh, sorry. I I have a a question to ask. Can I go ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, I just um, I'm I'm thinking this way. Uh, this question is that since we are writing a prompt for our for for AI to generate uh, emails for us for the customers or for the recipients that's um, numerous, and uh, definitely we want to make it as human as possible. What I want to ask is what of if we have uh, different customers. Uh, with different objectives and, uh, you know, in the process of preparing prompts, uh, aren't we going to be preparing different prompts for for the different customers? Or can we just make use of a prompt and... Uh, because that is what I don't still understand. If, for instance, we're having uh, uh, 100 people we want to reach out to with a, uh, an email, and the other people, they are not of the same uh, objectives and uh, purpose. So definitely, the prompt will not go for everyone. So in this case, what can we do? Okay, well, good question. So um, if it is you have this, you are in this case, first of all, let us say, first of all, that uh, you, you have many recipients, many customers, and you want to welcome them because this is one of the first, uh, my second, my second uh, one. Uh, let me see here. Uh, sorry, 
uh, yeah okay let us say that we want to welcome the purpose here is to welcome a new customer uh, i hope you are following me okay in this scenario you do not need to 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 worry because it will sound the same for all the customer the only thing you need to do is to in your point it at the end is to customize to personalize the email for each customer and here as you can see on the uh, for instance where we put let, let me let me do like that okay when we put uh, a tea hour because we said um on behalf of green earth landscaping, write a welcome email to my customer name at the hour. Instead of saying to my customer name at the hour, you don't you, you don't put the name uh, my customer at the hour, you just put uh, to my customer, okay? To my customer, okay? Who recently booked a landscaping consultation? And when after generating the email now, you can now personalize it. You can review your email and put the name of uh, Ati Awa if you want to send to Ati Awa. If it is uh, Bob, you, need, you, you will write the name of Bob. If it is uh, John, you will write the name of John. And then it saves you time, okay? But in the case, there are some similarity and uh, the, the purpose is a little bit different. It is up to you to cluster or to group your customer according to the 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 criteria in your company. I don't know, and according to that, you will send you 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 will vary a little bit your your prompt or your email because at the end, if you generate a prompt, it's not because you. Uh, I mean, if you you use a prompt and generate an email. It's not because you generate an email with a prompt that you will just send. Don't don't forget. We want to we want also to review and personalize the AI generated. And at this moment, you can do the same, and you will save time surely. So this is the way you need to do it in those circumstances. Is that clear? Uh, okay, good. So, is there anyone have a, another question? Okay, Bernard, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you, and then good afternoon to everyone. And thank you for the wonderful um, lectures. Um, my only concern and worry is that looking at the prompt itself, like even when you go through the one in the challenge document, you realize that the prompt is very extensive and it's more like you have even done the work. So alternatively, is it possible for you to rather draft the email and then you give it to um, AI to refine it for you? Because even the prompt that you have just shared for us is very extensive and it brings out the details that you want, which means you've already done the job for AI, you've drafted the email yourself. So wouldn't it be more convenient to, to draft it and uh, give it to AI to refine it for you? Please say your last your last sentence. What I'm I'm saying is that wouldn't it be more convenient for you to draft the email and then give it to AI to refine the email for you? I yes, also it is a, a possibility because at the end of the day, don't forget your target. You want to sound like a human being. You do not want to sound like an AI. So there's no one way to do things if you if you 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 think that yeah you can you you don't need to wait to waste a lot of time on your prompt and you just want to say hey, hello chat gpt or hello gemini uh, I, I want to i want you to generate i want to create an email for me for my customer to inform them that i have these new products and you stop this your short prompt and it will generate your prompt for you and is now if you it's up to you now to personalize your prompt because 
each custom each customer have different name and they don't want you to send to them an email where maybe it is just just customer they don't feel like uh, they, they will feel like okay uh, i receive an email from a robot that those guys do not care about me but if you put the name and you put some details it will help the it will they will they will feel like uh, they receive something from women so this is the point but if you as you were saying if you you think that okay you need to use uh, a small prompt, a small prompt, and the prompt that our, uh, our I'm sharing in the tutorial is long for you. No problem. No problem. Okay. So. Okay. Thank you. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, Collins, you have the floor. Yes, uh, uh, Rudolph, thank you. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe for the first time, I'm really finding it difficult to always follow through the screen. I've been going off and on to be able to see your your screen. So maybe that's why I have this question, because I think somebody has already asked. If, for instance, I have, uh, let me take this as uh, what will be the, I, I feel should be the advantage. Maybe I have a, uh, uh to send uh, uh, an email whether for marketing or a uh, personal email to you know somebody let's say 100 persons and uh, the name of the person is bob now and uh, of course for the first person so they have several names bernard Kachuku, and all that so for that 100 yeah the content will be the same it's been personalized it's been made to look as human human how can i will i start changing those names one after the other or how can that be done once i don't know if this covers that because that's the only thing i seem to see like something that will be an an, an advantage since the prompt already is, is long i don't know if you got my question so i didn't yeah, get I, that part when yes. somebody asked be done. okay I, I get your point as i was saying earlier let, let me show you again my my uh, uh my prompt. The only thing you need to do, okay, that I can edit it right now. You can say, all right, welcome email to. You can go to my customer. You okay, make it full screen. Sorry, make it full screen. Okay, good. Is you is is you fine for you? But yeah, the point is if I make it um a showcase. I can't edit it. So let me edit it first and then I will do that. Okay. So you can see now I said to write a welcome email to my customer who recently booked a landscape payment consultation. So I didn't specify any name. So the email will be generated. And now it's up to me because when it will generate an email like that, it will put maybe dear customer. And now, because I know the one to whom I want to send my email, I will put his name. Simple. I don't need to refer uh, to to rewrite uh, email to email to email to email. No, I have this one for each customer. I just need to change the name. I only need to change the name and personalize a little bit according to him. Simple. I don't know if it collects have his answer now. Yeah, invariably, I'm going to send to 100 of them. I'm going to send them one after the other. I understand. Uh, that's the limitation I was uh, looking at. Because now I will have to send to each of them one after the other since I must put their name. Exactly. Yourself, you will change the name. That is why in the, we don't forget this part. We said that after, uh, after the prompt, we need to refine, to revise. Uh, we need to revise. Okay. We need to review. We need to personalize our drafts. Okay. We need to do those things and check a little bit uh, accuracy, clarity, and those stuff. So don't forget that part. Don't think that after generated the prompt, it is over. And and then you can generate your email and I, I, I immediately start sharing with your people. Any other question?
So I wanted to add something to what you said, sir. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. The truth is that uh, any LLM, you can actually give him those names that you want him to enter. He can, he can actually do it for you. Just that you have to give him a correct prompt. Like, if you can combine the, the name on, uh, in a PDF file. You can even upload it and ask him to pick all those names and put it in that mail. He, he can do it based on the prompt. It's just depending on how you engineer the prompt to do it. Exactly. Also, that's also fine. You can do it like that way also. Thank you for adding that one also. Is everything clear for everyone? EPS, show some reaction so that we can continue. Yeah, Kazim. Yes, go ahead with your preoccupation. Okay, so for me, I just want to contribute um, for everyone that has asked the question. I think basically what they're trying to let us know is that it's not that AI is expected to, or maybe we're mixing the prompts from what AI will give you. If you look at what the instructor sends to us, that is prompt eh? does not even necessarily write anything about that email because there's still a lot of requests that is requesting for, for AI to write to complete that email. So to me, I don't even think that that prompt is long. And why that prompt is long is so that it guides the AI to give you like a robust details of what you want the email to be all about. So let's not mix it. If you want to write your own email and send to AI to revamp, it's a good thing. But if you also give AI a prompt that is well detailed, it will help you streamline your email. And trust me, sometimes it's even faster because it's if you give it that kind of prompt, it can help you even go beyond what you think then before you start redefining and giving it an human touch. So I just want to contribute that let's not mix it up that the prompt is long. Because looking at that prompt, it has not even really covered what the detailed email will actually look like. So that's just my own contribution. Thank you so much, Akazim. I really appreciate it. I hope your peers have understood what you have said. And there are something I want to add is if you want to, to have a good input from AI, you need to spend a good time on your prompt because actually the prompt is what the AI understands and can generate an output for you. So if you spend time to personalize your prompt according to what you are expecting at the end, it will do that for you. If not, you, you, you won't have uh, uh, the, the, the expectation you want at the end. So, um, don't think that the prompt is done, the prompt is not, but it depends on the case. Depends on the case. So we just want to teach you how we can do we can do things so that when you really you really feel like you are in a given situation, you know how to save your time, you know how to use appropriate tools, you know how to do things to go faster and sound like a human. This is the purpose. Don't forget the purpose. So that has been said, let's continue. Uh, so this is the, the example we, we, we wanted to, to talk about why it comes to marketing content generation using the AI. So here we, we have a, <clears throat> sorry, the goal here, we said we want to create a social media for promoting green earth landscape teams, spring planting services. As you can see here, the, the purpose here for visa marketing from uh, content is to promote green earth landscaping, 
planting services. Okay, now the type of the content they want to use is to use social media. They want to use social media as a type of content because when you 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 see the procedure, you see after defining defining the goal and the audience, we need to and gather information, we need to use a type of content and you can select a blog, a social media and other things. So that's why in our goal, we specify social media posts, okay? And after that, we didn't spend time to positive others. We, we write the prompt and we put in the prompt. We're gonna see the prompt together. Green Earth Landscape want to create a catchy social media post for Instagram promoting promoting our spring planting services. Use an AI catching image of a beautiful and colorful garden and generate it as well. In the caption, highlight the benefits of using green earth landscaping for spring planting, such as using a native plant and creating pollinator friendly gardens. Emphasize green earth landscaping's commitment to sustainable practices and using eco friendly materials. Include a call to action to schedule a, cons a consultation and get a free code. Maintain a friendly and informative tone specific to green earth landscaping social media voice which is known for its engaging visual and informative content. So that is it. And for the task of four in your challenge, it has been asked you to generate a marketing content of your choice. It depends, it depends on you what you want to, to, to generate. You need to define the purpose, you need to define your audience, as you can see here, we didn't mention the audience directly because the audience here is everybody. Everybody on the social media is our target. So the marketing content is for this big audience. That's why you didn't say uh, you didn't say a particular thing regarding the audience. It is known naturally. Okay. So make sure that you you put things together that uh, that is related to your to what, what you want to generate as a marketing content, and then you will generate that one. So, and after you write your prompt and you generate your, your marketing content, it's not over. Always, don't forget, you need to review and personalize it. Ensure that what you have generated is aligned with the brand voice and the marketing objective that the, the content resonates with the target audience and create a clear call to action. And don't forget to format also your marketing content that the AI has generated for you so that at the end, you sound like a, a human. You sound like, a, like it is you who has generated this marketing content, okay? So that is it. And uh, uh, if there is uh, any question here, uh, you can let me know. Is there any question? Yeah, I too, I too have. Edwin, yeah, you have the floor, you can speak. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, my, mine is, uh, first I would like to appreciate you for dry, uh, taking us through the, the steps. Huh? in achieving that however my interest is uh uh i think i made a comment in uh, in the week's chat some of us are even finding it hard to identify this is written by ai so if you would uh, have a more detailed example whereby you have the prompt you made and then the email or the text that the ai brought and then from after that, you also show us the final copy of the changes you made to a copy. I think it would help, uh, okay, I'll speak for myself. It would help me personally understand better 
other than walking me through the steps when I can't tell the comparison between the two. Thank you. Okay. We have a, a party session at the end, so we, we're gonna go through that now. So we will generate a, a prompt, we see how it look like, and we see how we can personalize it and make it sound like a human. Is that good for you? Is something like that you want to write? Yeah, that, that will do for me. I'll be waiting for that part of the session. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, all, we, are, we already are that step. So if there is a, no question regarding the slide, because we have already finished the presentation uh, for the two big parts, it's time now for an example and handsome practice. So if there's no question, we can jump on that right away. Show me some. Yeah, okay, some reaction to that. No, okay, good. So in my case, um, I want to use Gemini to, to play with uh, some of the problems we have here, okay? So let us use uh, one of the problems we have. We have here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let, let me let me use this one because we are talking about. Okay. I hope you can still see my screen, right? Yeah, okay, good. So, I copy and I paste one of the prompts we have seen in the tutorial. And uh, we, what do you wish the prompt is saying? We want to generate a follow-up email to one of my, one of my clients, name Bob Joe. The purpose of the email is to I come here about our new AI product that will might be interactive in, and he provided any assistance needed and da -da 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 -da. you guys know already that from so let us see what the AI will generate for us. Okay, this is what AI have generated for us. They it's a try to first of all to generate it. A subject for us because it's an email. Every email has its subject. Here he said, introduction AI for all. Introduction AI for all. This is the name of the company. AI for all new AI content generator. So if you think it is the alignment of what you guys you want to do, you keep it. If not, you change it. You can see here. He tab personalizer the email, dear Bob. We hope this email finds you well. As a valued customer of AI for all for the past 10 years, we want to be the first to inform you about our exciting new AI product, the AI content generator. This is a cutting edge tool is designed to generate a high quality marketing content that is virtually and and this and distinguishable from human written copy it can help you create engaging blog posts social media captions email campaigns and more saving you time and effort we believe that the ai content generator is a valuable addition to your marketing toolkit if you're interested in learning more or scheduling a demo please don't hesitate to reach out out thank you for your continued support here we have best regard your name ai for all contact information so this is what the ai has been written now it is up to us to start to personalize the ai uh, the the email we have in front of us change the name, 
who is the one who write the who write the email put the this is the name of the company because we have mentioned in our prompt the name of the company ai for all now contact what is the contact of the enterprise of the company we put it here this is the way we start personalizing the the ai generated after that is there any like you did yesterday if you have identified yourself that there is a, a, a sentence there is a that is a perfect to be true or uh, it sounds very perfect perfect the grammar is a very perfect and it doesn't sound like uh, you writing something it's up to you now to make it some changes so that is the way we need to do that i don't know if it is uh, clear for uh, uh, edwin who has uh, answered that question earlier edwin it is clear i'm just waiting for the part where you try to tailor it according to your to you your try style. to do what where you tailor it according to your style of english huh? i don't get any better one can you put it in okay. the chat can you write yeah this, chat? this is what i mean uh the ai has uh, drafted something that you can send to the customer so mm -hmm. i'm waiting for you to tailor that to what you actually want to send to the customer so that i can relate the two yes this is what i have said earlier so as we have also you have already have this drop you start making the changes you want from that, that from that uh, drop okay let, let me do this um Okay. You make a copy. Okay. You make a copy. Uh, you go to you know, you create something. You know. Oh, sorry. Okay. Are you following now? Yes, please. Okay, good. So, which name do do you want to put there? Maybe we put. Uh, we just put a name. And maybe we put Edwin because he's the one who was asking me. Let me see the actual. Hand. To put uh, this is the co country of Nigeria. I took Edwin, are you from Nigeria? I'm from Uganda. From Uganda. I'm from Uganda. Okay, what is the, the first country of Uganda? Uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda. Hey, the capital city? No, I'm asking the code country, the code country. Hey, plus, plus, plus 256. 256, five, okay. Let us say something like that, okay? Um, we generate uh, something like that, okay? And you can put even in the email address, Edwin. Uh, com. So, we have here this, uh, um, the sign, the sign, the the sign off of our email. Mm. Okay, so um, you have already personalized it. Now here together, let us see together what we can do. If, uh, 
as the value as the value customer of uh, AI for all. Don't forget, AI for all is the name of the company. Yes. Okay. For the past ten years, because what this is what we said in the prom. Maybe we, we know this customer. We know that this customer he has been with us uh, for ten years, and we want to we want to AI to know that to mention those things so that okay. can, the person can feel like yes, uh, I receive uh, an email from this company. They know me. Mm. Okay. We we wanted to to be the first to inform you about our exact exciting new AI product, the AI content generator. Because uh, the product here, we want to advertise to our clients. We said that as a, it is an AI company, they have maybe de developed a product that generated uh, a content that sounds like a human being, okay? Maybe, so this is what they have, you, they have said as the introduction. According to you now, okay, to all of you, it, it is an exercise we will do together. Is that is that first paragraph sound like a, a human for you? And uh, is it clear the message? Uh, what is sound for you? I want you. I want. I want you to interact to uh, so that we can do that together. If someone have something to say, he just uh, raise his hand uh, and we talk about it. Hello, guys. I can hear you, sir. Yeah, I, I, I asked you a question regarding the the first paragraph we have the AI have generated for us. According to you, do you think you will leave it like that? Do you think it is not like a human being for you so that you can leave it like that? Or do you, do you think that you need to make some change? This is a question I'm asking. Yes. I want to see if somebody has already his hand or not. Uh, maybe for me to respond, I would leave the, the first uh, paragraph uh, the way it is. Mm -hmm. Since it gives a background that you know for how long this customer has been with the company, and uh, be, him being a loyal customer, you want him to be among the first people to know of the new tool. So I would leave, I'll leave the first paragraph the way it is. Okay. So everyone want to leave the first paragraph the way it is. So, is there any uh, other opinion? I want to hear from you guys, please. Just say your mind. Don't be shy. <laughs> you are the same family here. Okay, terrific. Yeah. What do you think for the first? Uh, yeah, paragraph? maybe yeah, on the first paragraph, maybe if I am not, I don't know if I'm correct, but we need to add some kind of, you know, greetings or something which is. Uh, we know before about the person or the company something what which is very interesting to go through the uh, main body of the email maybe it's good to add something like that exactly okay good that is uh, an, another opinion is another opinion they want to and uh, as you as you have uh, suggested can you write in the chat uh, the way maybe you want to greet the this uh, co special customer, you can put it in the chat. Okay. So, is there any other things to say? Because we have two things. Uh, Edwin suggested to leave it like that, and uh, Terafe suggested to customize this par first paragraph. So. You see, actually, this is the way it should be. That's why me, I cannot just come and say that it is the way it should be. I should, I should tell you how we can do it. Because at the end of the day, it will be relative for each of us. So we can continue with the, what, with the, what the AI has generated for us. We can go for the second paragraph. So here, we say, 
this cutting edge tool is designed to generate high quality marketing content that is virtually indistinguishable from human write, write a, a human written copy it can help you create engaging blog posts social media caption email campaign and more saving you time and effort okay this is the second paragraph so how does that paragraph sound for you it sounds ai generated or human generated is the message clear is uh, how it is for you is it is it is relevant for the purpose how it is for you i want to hear from you guys yeah edwin you have the floor yeah. Yeah, so for me, this uh, this uh, second paragraph has uh, heavy English words, eh? cutting mm -hmm. edge, dis ind indistinguishable, which I think uh, some changes can be made to it to sound a little bit light, but still passing on the communication because we are considering uh, people who are not so good at English reading this statement as well, not the, the, the lawyers or the marketing team. Exactly, exactly. That, that is a good point. So you see that from yesterday, you start knowing how to identify a AI generated. So that's the point. Now, how do you think you can, which word you want to replace by which one or which sentence you want to change? You, you guys can put your suggestion in the chat and we can do that together. I will replace him. I will replace them and at the end I will share with you so that you know because this one it is a handsome practice we do that together so you know how you can do it by your own later so um you have also raised your hand again yeah Edwin I'm listening to you sorry I had left it up Okay, I was saying, I was saying that you have make have made a good point, and I want you to suggest what we can replace. If you want to replace a given word, or if you want to replace a given sentence, because as you have identified that the AI have generated a, a perfect grammar and also a strong vocabulary and everybody is not everybody doesn't have the same level of english then i'm asking you how can you maybe make make it sound or you uh, sound and and i uh, and just understood by every everybody okay something like that so you can put in the chat your suggestion and then we can replace it and if every anyone also have a suggestion you guys can put it okay so we'll move on the the third the third paragraph the this is the first paragraph we said we believe that the ai content generator is a valuable addition to your marketing toolkit if you're interested in learning more or scheduling a demo, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you for your continued support. So, guys, what do you think about this paragraph? Yeah. I need some reaction, guys. Uh, how? What do you think about that? Okay. I see Terafeda. Terafeda. Okay, we can. Yeah, we can change the distinguishable by uh, distinguishable by uh, 
difficult to differentiate. Okay, this is a good suggestion. Uh, let, 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 let me put that uh, uh, somewhere here. Is everything clear for you? Because I need your input. This exercise is a, uh, it is an exercise we, we are doing together. So it's not just me, uh, me doing something just for you, no. We want to, pra to practice all together, okay? Do you think we need to keep that sentence like that? I mean, that paragraph like that, or do you think that paragraph needs some modification? This is a paragraph, okay? Just let me know what do you think, guys. Collins, what do you think? Shedrach, uh, Bernard, Kazim, uh, what do you think, guys? I think, yeah. Got the wing, yeah. Yeah, got the wing. You have the floor, you can speak. Okay, I think we can personalize the last sentence a bit. Okay, yeah, this is the last. Yeah, I'm listening. So, where is it? We believe that the AI content generator is valuable addition to your marketing tool, but to your marketing tool, but maybe you probably you can add by increasing. The number of people who watch your advert or something like that so we can at least add one something to make it a little bit more let me say personalized or specific to him okay good do you have any suggestion if you have your suggestion put your suggestion in the chat okay okay with the chat. And last thing I want to, because we have seen that uh, we went through all of the all of the steps, and there is something I want to show you guys. And uh, my colleague mentioned it yesterday. There are some AI detector. Okay, so after this step, you can also decide to see if uh, your what you have made at the end, if AI can detect it as AI generated, okay? So in the, in the reference, we, there are some, this one especially, uh, AI editor grammar. Let us use that one and and see what how we can detect our content. So um, no, no, very good. Easy one. So we copy the our drafts. And I will review draft because no, this is not yet well reviewed. It's not yet reviewed. So we, we copy that. Uh, we come to our AI detector and we check. We check. We see what the, what the percentage of uh, AI generated. So here he said 66% of this tests appear to be AI generated, okay? So this, what are the, this AI detector has said. Now, we said that uh, we want, there are some modification we need to, to do. So let us do those modification and see if uh, it can decrease uh, the percentage. We want to change indistinguishable by uh, difficult to differentiate so
Is there any other um, modification we wanted to to, to, to do? Uh, put, put them in the chat, please, so that because time is, is going too fast for us, okay? Please, guys, put it in the chat so that we can do it and see if the percentage of the AR detector will decrease. I sent in something it. for the second paragraph. Eh? Okay. Okay, these new tools support businesses in creating high quality marketing content that help grow business here. But you can create engaging blog. Okay, good. Put one, let us copy. Let us copy and we replace. Maybe you can add it, you can add in that part of different to it, <laughs> differentiate from human that one. Okay. Uh, You you mean this? Uh, why why are you? Talking about? No, it was that paragraph of the cutting edge. Eh? Yeah, the, that part of uh, virtually difficult to differentiate from human 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 copy. Eh? You can add that part in in it. So you want to you want to add that part, okay? Not to change the paragraph. You can, uh, yeah, in my statement, you can add in that part of virtually difficult to differentiate from human written copy. You can first post what you have uh, copied, then you add in that element. Eh? Okay, let, okay. Like this? Mm. Yeah, but uh, there, I think there is a, uh, there is a repetition because we have mentioned already that uh, it can help you create engaging blogs, social media. So uh, it's the same here, right? Mm. And then uh, from this new tool supports businesses in creating high quality marketing content, then you can copy it that it's virtually difficult to differentiate from human written copy that helps grow business reach. Okay, so we want, uh, okay. No, from the upper one, that that is virtually difficult to differentiate from human written copy. Maybe in this regard, you can cancel from, uh, starting from it can help you create. Let you uh, delete that one and let you re replace this one, the one he gave you. Yeah, okay, from where I should, I should delete? It, it can help you create like this one in this paragraph. Yeah, yeah, from mm. that one. Cancel okay. that one. Yeah, okay. mm. so let you try with this. Then okay. you can also copy that is virtually difficult. High that quality, is, I think. So. I mean, that, that, is, that is virtually difficult. Yeah. Mm. yeah. From that, from that, yeah? Yeah. Virtually difficult to differentiate from human copy. Yeah. And then you paste it in uh, uh, marketing content. That is now you come to the new to the new statement on the that where that is that helps. You want to like this? Uh, you you come down down to the new statement that helps in that uh, sentence um, that helps. yeah that helps yeah, yeah. on uh, no behind before the helps yeah yes then you purpose that if it, okay that is literally like this yes okay, then you can delete the... the upper statement yeah okay okay good like this Mm. Okay, the tools are support to okay. You can correct that. And grows, yeah. And helps. No? Yeah, we can try that.
Okay. Okay, good. Let us try that and see. Ah, you guys, you have seen now the percentage is decreasing. Have you seen? So yes. that, that, that is it. That is it. So this is the way you you guys you can you can make a an AI generated sound like a, a human generated content. So, Please. Yeah. Which which link did you use to that take you to that uh, AI sector? Ah, I use a Grammarly, Grammarly, Grammarly.com, AI detector. I will share with you. I will share with you. Don't worry. I will share the uh, the slide with you. Okay. Uh, it is uh, the reference of the slide. Okay. So, is there any question again? Uh, everything is clear for you. If everything is clear, share share um, some. A reaction and yeah that's great so okay so guys uh it has been a pleasure to share this great moment with you and i hope that uh, yeah you have gained a lot of insight and it will help you to continue your your task and uh, Wish you all the best, okay? Have a good afternoon. Yeah. Ikram, you can please, you can.